Here beside me, I have my own BMW E30 project. Hello, Ray. Hey. Yo. Persauki cars and coffee. Be here or be fucking. Welcome back guys to another or a new garage struggle video. It's been quite slow lately. Uh, anyway, here we are with a new video and I got some updates for you. Uh, as you may see here beside me, I have my own BMW E30 uh, project build or whatever you might call it. So I bought this in 2021 and I had planned to just drive it during the summers. But unfortunately, after I had taken a closer look on the car, I found quite a lot of rust, uh, which is quite common on these cars, unfortunately. So I started fixing that and yeah, I had probably driven the car for two months since I got it then. So the time it has been on the road since I got it hasn't been that much. Uh, but yeah, as you see, the car is pretty much half empty, I guess. I have already taken out the interior almost completely and I've taken out the doors. I've started getting sorted on the engine bay area and also these rocker panels were quite, they were quite rusty as well as they tend to be. Uh, but I replaced the rocker panels on both sides. So that's been taken care of. Yeah, last year I, I came to the conclusion that I more or less have to completely renew the whole car. So the plan for me now is to completely strip the car, take out the engine. I will also have the car repainted. And as for the sub frames, rear and front, I will change bushings. Uh, I will put strong flex bushings front and back. Basically do a complete overhaul of this car. Interior as well will be reupholstered because it's in a really bad condition, unfortunately. But full leather interior is nice, so I will try to bring it back to its former glory days. So the engine is a 2.5 liter M20 B25 uh, and it's from 87, a preface model. Even though it's a preface, it has the ABS, which is, which is nice. And uh, well, as I said, full leather interior, which is not, you can't see at the moment because I have taken it out. The floor mat is some type of ugly greenish color. So I will have to, or I will try to repaint that to black. I got a sunroof, which is nice. Ah! Fit. Uh, pfft. What else? Um, I bought these BBS RS rims to, to put under the car. Unfortunately, these were 15 inch, or they are 15 inch now. I will have to step those rims to 16, so the car will have a, a nice proper look. Uh, but yeah, as you can see, I have already started taking the car apart. I have already filmed some, some footage, which I will put in here now, uh, but I just wanted to make things clear on what I'm up to. And I will make this like a full length series, including in the Garage Struggle series, of course. I hope you will enjoy it. And I can also mention that this is my first project build ever. So things will be interesting to say the least. So if you have any tips or tricks, comments on what to do or what not to do, feel free to leave comments and uh, yeah, all help is needed for sure. So this will be interesting. And uh, as of the rest of 
the whole garage struggle series lately. Uh, Travis bought his first house, so he's been quite busy with that. Um, but we will try to make some content now and then when there's things happening. And also we got a cars and coffee event coming up in July, uh, which I also got some footage from last year when we hosted the same event. So I will make a small recap to put in this video as well. So stay tuned for that. And uh, let's get this video started and I hope you enjoy it. Also, don't forget to subscribe. Now it's more important than ever. <laughs> I need all the emotional support that I can get. It's going to be interesting. I'm quite excited to start building my own, my own car. So enjoy this and uh, subscribe, like, comment, all that kind of stuff. And let's go. Very, very great condition car. This house comes with uh, zebra pattern, but spots. Looks very good, very good. I can't see shit and uh, I came to think about something. Yeah, according to my calculations, this is not going as smooth as it should go. This is what you call Krota Prakkassossa. Well, when I first used the angle grinder, it didn't measure all the way around, or it the blade uh, wasn't big enough to cut the whole pipe. So the last last bits I had to use a riggedy saw. This one, which broke, of course. So. I had to cut cut it with my hand, this shitty blade. Unfortunately, these clamps that come around this pipe here uh, have pressed it together so much that it's like completely stuck in there. <laughs> As I was looking at the drive shaft, uh, I noticed that the harder disc is looking quite fucked up to say the least. I don't know how good you can see this stuff, but uh, I think I will need a new one. So uh, I think I will save the engine removal uh, to the next video. But next up now is to get the gearbox taken out of out from under the car. So yeah, let's go. Mm. Bend the boy on the end. Ah. Let's go, mother. Ah. 
Jesus, hjælp mig. Hva? Åh. Hey. Skal jeg tage en Hei. Pitkästä aikaa. Fiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiii
Nyt mä oon hankkinut tämmönen. Se tuli suoraan tota, niin Italiasta. Tietäjät tietää. Aito. Lui vittu. Tästä ne muut tekee tota, niin, laukkuja ja... Vyöt. Laukkuja ja vöitä. Mä teen tästä ovisivuja. <laughs> tää, tää maksoi... Oliko se 800 euroa per... Per sentti. Ei kun, Me... ei kun se oli kyllä per neliö. Okei. Okay, tässä no. on nyt pari neliöä ainakin. No ainakin. Mietin nyt, jos tehdään näin. Aika hyvä. Tulee aika semmonen premium tuntuma. <laughs> premium. <laughs> Joo. Ja... Kun sais jotain krokotiilinahkaa. <köhö> Snakeskin. Snakeskin, se on aika premium. Joo. Joo. Ei muuta kuin nyt otetaan tää toinen penkki pois. Selvä. Ja... Joo. Kyllä. Joo. Se tehdään. Vähän nyt. Joo. Persaukki Kaarsen kofi. Be here or be fikant. Tähän... Mm. Vaan tykkävi. Rikti lykkat. He kom... Jättämykki bilar. He kom jättämykki bilar. He kom jättämykki folk. Svenski grabbarna. Vi kan köra snabbt inte gymmet. Joo, vi kan fara. Men... Joo. Film lite till det ser du folk. Mycket. Folk. Folk. Bilar. Små bilar. Små bilar. Tyska bilar. Japanska bilar. Ungerska bilar, tjeckiska bilar. All bilar. Allting, all märk. Ja. Tack. Tack för att alla kom. Ja. Skitkul. Vi får se vad som händer sen. Ja, let's go. Roder Gubbs. Ja, ma, ja. Svenskar, inte tala mycket finska. Med här. Vi talar inte så mycket svenska. Vi har ett faktisk... Uh, har ett faktisk. Ja, faktisk. Men annars jä, jävla bra biträtt på väder. Det kommer till slut också. Jo. Jävligt kung. Ja, det regnar väl som fan i natt. Jo. Det måste ju vara det som skulle komma idag egentligen. Jo. Så att jag kollade vädret och tänkte så här, det var så här, ena dagen var det hur bra väl som helst på vädrapparna. Nästa dag var det regn och så jag bara, tog ju bara den som hade bäst, bäst värde på att gå på den här lösen. <laughs> Säg, vem, vem är ni? Johannes. Johan, ja okej okay, bra, tack. Okay. Tack hej. Men ni är från Onroaders. Onroaders podcast. Just det. Vi är här och försöker lära oss lite finska. Vi inte Jag lär oss sig finska, Isa Peita. <laughs> Isa Peita, vi får. Ja. Kom hit med feta bilen. En S14 på Workmeister S1. Ja, ja. Eh, no, 59 North. 59 North. 59 North. Det är ju rundade skallar. Det är ju inte ens en motor här bara. <laughs> <laughs> Sen kommer vi med en Audi R6. A6. 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 Är det skittad? S-Line. Du måste säga att det är lite dålig fit, men det här på bromsarna. Det här som ryms handen här emellan. Ja, oh, shit. Så det är sån här um, Wish uh, RS Calipers för lock. Det... Jo, ja, 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 ja. Man, man klipper bara över. Jo, exakt. Ja. Jag är glad att få vara här. Ja, jag är väldigt glad för att vara här. Nej, vi ljuger. Komma iväg, fara till Finland, fara till ett annat land. Få lära känna fler folk. Dricka lite ur, spela lite kub. Shit. Vi kan spela kub. Det blir jobbig stämning ikväll när vi spelar Finland i kub. Kubben Nej, upp till bevis. Upp till bevis. Mm. Bra. Ska vi gå vidare? Ja, vi kollar lägen annanstans. Filma, filma den här gubben. Smoking weed, you're